this is history. The world's fastest self-propelled vehicle ride ever, nearly 70 miles an hour. 68.7. For two weeks in September, a team of young engineers took its specially designed bicycle, the Cheetah, to Colorado. In run after run, they measured its speed, trying to break the world's record of 65.48 miles an hour. And finally, they did it, the culmination of years of work. The effort started in 1989 when John Garbarino, Kevin France, and James Osborne had just graduated from engineering school at the University of California, Berkeley. It was a real good way for us to, uh, to apply what we were learning in school. They first set out to design a fairing, the canopy over the bike, that would provide the least amount of wind resistance. That meant hours at the computer formulating just the right shape. Then they looked to the aerospace industry for just the right materials for both the fairing and the bicycle mechanism inside. Anything that would be used in a satellite or any of the new composite stealth bombers. We use a lot of composite materials, uh, which makes it extremely lightweight and strong. They first tried for the record in 1990, but weather conditions were wrong, and they had to set the project aside so they could look for jobs and get on with their lives. This year, they came back to it, recruiting world-class professional bicycle racer Chris Huber to pedal the cheetah. Huber's height, six foot three, was a critical factor. He fit the mechanism in a way that created maximum power. He trained for months on an oval track, getting ready for the moment when the record would be his and he watched it on his speedometer as it happened. As I saw it go through 67, that's, I got really, really excited because I, I knew that I was gonna be able to maintain that speed and not just maintain it, but build on it. One of the designers says he and his partners have put together the best of all possible combinations, and he thinks it's unlikely anyone will ever go faster in a self-propelled vehicle. You put all that technology and a world-class cyclist together, and the envelope of speed for mankind has come to a close. It's, we've reached the limit. But new designs sometimes give way to an old saying, records were made to be broken.